Welcome to our sixth NCAA Baseball Video Bulletin for the 2005 season. We'll move right into some situations this week. Our first few involve assistant coaches leaving their position to argue plays. The first situation involves a fly ball down the right field line. Our first base umpire goes out on the ball and calls the ball foul. The first base coach reacts aggressively to this call and was ejected immediately. You'll see the third base umpire come over and do a really good job of getting the first base umpire away and starting to get this coach off the field. I feel that this ejection was proper and well handled. Here's a close play at first base. Watch the first base coach's immediate reaction. Our plate umpire had done a great job of hustling down the line and immediately enters the situation and gets the first base coach away, certainly saving an ejection here. I feel that the first base umpire would have been well grounded and within our rules to eject the coach at this point. This is a balk called on a pitcher for either not stepping to first base or buckling his knee before going to first base. You'll see our plate umpire calling it immediately and doing a good job of signal and pointing. You will also see our home plate umpire discussing this with the head coach and giving an explanation for the balk. After this half inning ended, the pitching coach from this defensive team came out and had a discussion with our home plate umpire as well. This didn't seem to escalate into an aggressive situation, but our explanation to the head coach should suffice. Here is just another great example of our college umpires working together to get a call right. There are many points to discuss here. First, let's note our home plate umpire's position. What a great job of getting down the line to help on this play. Let's also make note of a good, strong, safe, off-the-bag call by our first base umpire. I think the best situation would have been for our plate umpire to wait for the first base umpire to come and ask him for help. Number nine that has entered the screen here is the head coach of the defensive team, and I'm sure would have asked the first base umpire to go get help. Another suggestion is that the first base umpire could have stepped up stronger, made a stronger out call, and signaled a tag. Changing a call like this is always going to be controversial. We should step up and be strong and expect an argument. In review, our plate umpire does a great job of getting down the line. Our base umpire makes the only call that he can, safe and off the bag. They get together and discuss it and ultimately get the call right, despite this coach's opinion. Now we'll move to some proper rule enforcements. This first is a hit by pitch. 
where the batter swings and misses the ball. This is a third strike and this batter is out despite being hit by the pitch. I think this clip is a great example of a batter being hit by the pitch while rolling away from the pitch. Notice that he does not extend his arm into the pitch but is rolling away when hit. This is another proper rule enforcement. Here's a clip with a no stop balk being called by our third base umpire positioned within the infield. There's no question in my mind that this pitcher did not come to a complete and discernible stop. Rolled through, trying to gain an advantage with the runner on first base. Contrary to what some announcers and others may think, I do not believe there's a time to pass on a rule enforcement because we're late in a big game, in a big situation. It is precisely at these times that coaches and players may try to break the rules to gain an advantage. This is a great call in a big game. These last two clips are of the force play slide rule. The first clip is a close play at second base on the runner from first base. He goes in standing up, makes contact, and really should be called for interference here. This last clip is a very obvious infraction. I'm showing it to you because I think our base umpire could have done a much better job of selling this call and making clear everyone knows that this was interference. We will close again by highlighting our points of emphasis for the 2005 season. Game management, tobacco use, zero tolerance policy, and the force play slide rule. We thank you again for your time and attention, and please check back in the next two weeks for another video bulletin.